What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my offensive settings that I use in NBA 2K22, my team, and to play now online. Now, just to clear things up, this is not a certain playbook. You do not need a certain playbook to run these. These are purely the offensive settings that you can run as soon as you load into a game and throughout the game of my team on NBA 2K22 or a game of play now. You can do this in my career, I think, to an extent, but this is mainly for 5v5 game mode. So this is not a playbook is not not running plays this is the settings that will help you win and help me this has helped me over the past three years of nba 2k if this is your first time seeing me just my credentials very quickly um i've played nba 2k at the top level in my region i guess um there, there's not much of a huge competition base here uh but i've gone undefeated in a lot of seasons about my team i've lost a few games over the past few months um and i really think these offensive settings i've tested and i've gone through a bunch of different Ones and these work the best for me. I'll also jump into a game after I've showed you guys the settings and show you guys what they actually look like in game um, and just show you like how they work for me. You don't need a certain playbook. You don't need to do it in the main menu. You can just do it each game and these will work for you. So what you guys want to do when you get into any sort of game of NBA 2K22, whether it's my team or play now, is go over to game plan down to offensive settings. The one below defensive settings, if you'd like to see my defensive settings, go across my other videos uploaded about a week ago. Um, I, I I told you guys all of the defensive settings. I went through every single one of these and explained which ones I use. So if you're interested in that, go across to this video. But for now, offensive settings. Now, I know my webcam is in the way, but the only ones that I do touch is rebounds, tempo, and freelance. Freelance number one. These are all you need to touch. These are all you need to change. Now, rebounding. With your right stick, you want to go across. Now, there is two different ways to do this, and it depends on your situation. The best thing to do is to go up, and you want to be looking at, I can't do it here, but you want to look at your matchup. If your opponent has a slow center, you can risk cra like going neutral offensive rebounding or even crashing offensive rebounds. That means that if the opponent gets a defensive rebound and they're sprinting down the floor, you will at least have one or two, one or two players go back. You can see there uh, the description to the next to my webcam. After a shot, uh, four to five offensive players will, will commit to getting a rebound. That means your point guard or a shooting guard will go back and play defense. If you go one over, it's neutral. So about half the team will stay back and get offensive rebound. Half will go back or there's limit transition. If you're using a team or coming up against a team that has Serge Barker at the five or or a, a fast center at the five, like a Draymond Green, a very small ball Draymond Green centered style offense. You want to have it to limit transition. You do not want to try to go for these off offensive rebounds. Because I'm telling you, if your team isn't all pink diamonds, you will get outrun, especially in season one speed is a big thing in this game we've seen it with Kyrie we've seen it with a lot of smaller players it is a big thing so for me personally I always go between crash or neutral I never ever go limit although I've kind of preached that limit is pretty good I typically go neutral to have maybe my center and my power forward go for offensive rebounds the rest of them get back on offense so that is the one that I'd recommend neutral offensive rebounds and then tempo I'll move it up one more so you guys can see tempo uh, there's patient offense it's pretty self-explanatory patient offense um, it, it basically it's the opposite of the lucky seven badge there's neutral offense where you'll just wait until a shot comes offer or shoot at will which means you will get the first available shot your team will push up the floor will sprint up the floor run to the corners and try to get a shot as fast as possible for me shoot at will is what i i 100 lock it in every time i've never run patient offense i've never run neutral offense i always go shoot at will you want your players to be running down the court you can see on the right the positive speed up the pace of the game and the negative offense will likely shoot contested shots that's if you're simulating. This is a, a user-controlled game. You will get wide open. You will run the floor if the defenders are slow on the other team, like they've got a, a Nikola Jokic or something at center or a, a James Donaldson. They'll be very slow to get back and your center, your power forwards will push up the floor and be able to score very, very easily. I highly recommend shoot at will. Now, the third one and the final one is your freelance. Now, I know a lot of people, if you've played my team before, you know which one I'm going to go with. It is the Hawks 2018 freelance. There is a different way of doing this um, in play now. Actually, no, the, the, to choose a playbook, there's a secret way of choosing a playbook in play now. If you guys didn't know that, I can do a video on that. However, Hawks 2018, if you're not running this freelance, you will not get wide open shots. I'm telling you right now, Hawks 2018 freelance will ensure that your players will almost always go into a, a five out sort of setting. I'll show you in game, but basically if you run a pick and roll, 
If you're running a pick and roll and you're not on Hawks 2018 Freelance, the most likely thing that's going to happen is players are going to be cramming the paint. Your wing players are going to be cramming the paint and there's no way that you're going to get a roll off in time. You might do it. However, a Hawks 2018 Freelance really opens up the floor and allows your players to run out to the corners and the hash and allows your center to come up, set a good screen for your point guard and an easy roll or an easy shot for your point guard. Just to show you guys that I'm not mucking you around or anything, this is my no money spent squad. This is an updated look that will be released tomorrow on tomorrow's episode of No Money Spent. This is the playbook I've got. I've literally got the 89 Bulls playbook. You do not need a playbook to have a good offense. I'm telling you right now, people that run plays, if you abs if you come up against someone who is above average, running plays isn't going to get you anywhere. I can tell you right now, running plays in 2K22 against a person that's above average will not work. So don't even bother about running plays online. That's my personal experience. Take it how you want. Other professional players or other players might give you a different opinion. For me, don't worry about your playbook. If you want to run a five out later in the year, get the Bucks 2018, uh, the Bucks uh, freelance. Do all that. Do that later in the game. For now, Hawks 2018, um, you want to do uh, intense or fast uh, transition and you want to have it set to the rebounding depending on the other team. So we'll jump into a game of Unlimited. I'm going to go straight to Unlimited. I'm not here to muck around. We're going to go to Unlimited with the settings that I showed you guys and I'll show you how they go in game. And just another look here at my credentials, uh, 22 and three, not the greatest in the world. I, I've come up against a lot of good squads, uh, which I've struggled against, especially being no money spent, but 22 and three is what we're going at the moment. We'll load into a game and I'll show you guys these settings and how well they can go. All right, and here we go, loading into a game. I'm gonna do my defensive settings. If you haven't seen them, jump across to the other video so you can slow, or you can slow this down if you really want to and have a look at them. I would recommend looking at the other video though. I did go over them. You can see I'm going neutral offensive rebound. That means two players, two or three players get back and either my power forward and my center stay and get a rebound and shoot at will for my tempo and for the freelance I'm seeing that to Hawks 2018 now let's jump into the game all right so you can see here I've called for a screen and look where my players are they are on the perimeter they are ready to shoot and they are ready uh it, one in each corner and one on the hash this guy is playing pretty good defense he's got Larry Markinen guarding Serge Ibaka I should be able to go with that shot and that is good so that's what I mean by using that Hawks 2018 freelance you're able to spread the floor out and your players won't create cram the paint. So you can see here we've got a good defensive stop and see my players are already out. They're out and running. I can see spreading to the corners. Uh, luckily a little step in there. Bit unfortunate for us but you can see that they absolutely just run the floor. That tempo really increases their speed and how how fast they get down the court. If I can get another stop here which I do it will go again here. My point guard will always wait but you can see they're running straight to the corners. Running out to the corners and I can hopefully hit that shot and look we're back in the game. I was losing this guy so I did have to concentrate for a little bit but like that you can see there the point guard will wait with your center all right i can promise you that the point guard will wait with the center so just icon x and wait for that unfortunately he does get a score there but icon x to your uh, to your point guard and then you'll be able to icon down the court and eventually get a score hopefully oh that was a nice pass I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to add that to the video. Oh, it's very, very nice. So you can see that's what happens when you have your uh, your Hawks 2018 freelance set. You can get those wide open shots in the corner, especially when the defense tries to bait. As Kevin Love, oh my goodness. When the defense tries to bait from the corner, help defense from the corner, you can dot that corner up. As long as you learn how to icon pass, you'll be able to do that easy. So, so far in this game, my offense has done pretty well. This guy is pretty good as well. So I've kind of struggled. Clamping up this offense has been the main thing though. He's, uh, I can allow him to have those twos at this stage of the game. Just to keep holding on here he's playing a full court for uh, for pretty much the entire game since the first quarter um i've just been using that pick and roll with the hawks offense if we happen to get a stop on him i'm always out in transition always iconing part icon passing up the floor to make sure that i can hit those corners if i need to you should always be looking to hit your corners if you can the corner shot is the easiest it is the closest and actually it is faster and uh, more likely to go in than a lot of other shots around the three-point line especially on the hash and deep hash and stuff like that so always look for your corner passes don't get baited please uh, always look to if you're going to get baited or not uh, we'll try to play a bit of defense here while i'm talking uh, which can never go too well but you can see this guy here we're going to maybe fake the pull up no we're able to do the pull up i should have taken that shot probably but we'll call the sig here so they go straight to those corners and i maybe uh, that's a good steal there typically i'm able to get a uh, stop in transition and uh, i'm able to get a pass to the corner i should say there uh, because Serge barker will roll to the rim and one of the two corner players will drop so that is basically 
basically the overall thing of what you want to aim for. Practice it in domination. Practice it on challenges. Practice it on limited. That is probably the best mode that won't affect like your record if you if you're worried about that. Practice this in limited on the weekends, and then take it to unlimited throughout the week. And tell me in the comments how this goes for you. This defense right now, I'm, I'm gonna keep that play in, I think. If you're seeing this, I've kept it in. That play of defense there was so good. Like, I can't, I know there's an offensive here. You can see he's mad on the mic right now. He's probably telling me why am I playing on the center and whatnot. It's just the style of defense you have to play at the moment in 21, uh, in 22, I should say. Unfortunately, we don't get that to go. And we can actually, uh, I might just make him rage a bit more and, and foul him on the fast break there. But um, you can see here, like if you're interested in my defense, go check out the defensive video. I will make a playbook video on the best plays you can run if people are, are interested in that. However, I wouldn't recommend it um, online against an above average player. And uh, there goes Mr. Glumac. GG's to that guy. I would jump into the recap. And uh, yeah, look, unfortunately, we don't get a full match there but we can uh, use the footage that we got and I think that's good enough so guys big thank you to you guys for sticking around and watching to the end of the video I do appreciate it um, uh, all the support I'm trying to be as consistent as possible um, I know that views are down at the moment for a lot of creators and I'm trying to be consistent all the way through to like January that's when content really picks back up again so if you guys want to stick with me and look at my journey throughout that time I'll really do appreciate it so uh, if you're new to the channel uh, consider subscribing if you've enjoyed the content you want to see more and get notified when I upload these videos and tomorrow night it'll either be a, uh, a gameplay or it will be a no money spent video so i appreciate you guys have a fantastic rest of your night and i'll see you in the next video peace